Edward's up. He's got multiple questions here, so let's run through them. Hi, Bradley. How can I copy content off of YouTube Creative Commons? Well, okay. I don't know what the um, terms of, you know, what the what the actual, like, proper terms of use are for that. Uh, I, I can tell you, obviously, if you, if you use Firefox, you can download pretty much any video ever on the web. Uh, if you use Firefox, all you got to do is install a Firefox extension. There's many, many of them that will do that. Or you can just download a video, um, so you could do it that way. I don't know that that's again, you know, that that's proper use of uh, Creative Commons. It's probably not, but um, you know, that's certainly one way you can do it. The other thing you do is use the YouTube editor. Go to youtube.com forward slash editor. Okay, let's just show this real quick. You guys are seeing my screen, correct? Just make sure. Yep, we are. Yep. So go to youtube.com forward slash editor, and then from here, if you click on the CC for Creative Commons, you can search. Creative Commons videos, and then if you find one, like let's just say Man on a Rowboat is something that I wanted, which I don't know why I would, but let's just say that I did, then you just drag it down and drop it into the editor. And then you can do that with multiple um, Creative Commons. You can splice videos together. You can mix and match. You can cut them. You can edit them. You can use the YouTube editor to do this. Okay, so for example, if I pause this and I zoom in a little bit, you can see it zooms the timeline out. And then I can cut if I want. I can cut. I can cut pieces out. I can trim the front, trim the end. I can add audio by clicking on audio. You can change tracks and use Creative Commons tracks or royalty free tracks, which is it's interesting because even some of the tracks in here, sometimes though, you'll use them and they'll be fine. And then later on at some point down the road, you'll end up getting a copyright uh, claim or one of those yellow um warning signs or whatever that will add an will uh, put a, an ad over top of your video and that kind of stuff it's interesting that happens from time to time but you can uh, add text you can do all kinds of stuff with the YouTube editor and that I know that's legal as far as uh, YouTube's concerned it's not against the terms of service to use Creative Commons in the YouTube editor editor it may be against terms of service to download and use in your own editing software and then re-upload uh, but again, you know, it's up to you as to how much, how much risk you're willing to take. Okay. But yeah, using creative commons in, um, YouTube editor is a quick and easy way to, uh, slap some videos together. Do you have any contract templates that I can use for new clients? No, cause I don't work on contracts. I never have. Uh, I don't say, I don't want to say I never have. I have worked. Excuse yeah, me. Can you hang on a second? If, mm -hmm. if he's meaning, uh, get the content, uh, the, the closed caption content on his own videos, then he could just go to subtitles, right? CC I mean, on, on his own video. Well, I, I read get, CC uh, as Creative Commons. Is he's talking about closed captions? I, I don't know. There's, uh, I, I mean, I, I, I go ahead and finish answering Marco because that might have been what he was asking about. Yeah, all you have to do is, is in, in Creator Studio, info and settings, uh, and then go to the subtitles and closed caption, mm -hmm. and then. What YouTube will do is it'll automatically give you the the subtitles. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, the closed it, caption. It, it'll do it for you. That's true. If you go to Video Manager, let's just pick one real quick. I'll show him where to do that too. I th I was reading CC as Creative Commons. Maybe he was talking about closed captions though. Subtitles and CC, guys. You see this? Click on that. Select uh, video language. Let's. In this case, it's going to be English. I'm going to say default for new uploads and click set language. And then where do you download them again? I click forget. on that. Click on click on that green. There you go. And then you have right there actions that you can download it. It's still loading. Hold on. Okay. But if you click on actions, you'll get a drop down menu. Okay, so there you go. Now you can download as either one of these files here or any one of these three file extensions. You guys see that? So if you were talking about closed captions, which again, I, I must have mis, uh, misinterpreted uh, or I may have misinterpreted the question, then yeah, do what Marco just said. Just go to a video. It has to be your own video, I think. I don't think you can download closed captions from a, uh, somebody else's video, can you? Yeah, no. yeah, you could always upload and keep it, keep it unpublished and do yeah. it all. And it, it, it's not really ethical. I mean, I'm not recommending that you do it. I'm saying... In a hypothetical world, this is what you could do. Very good. Hint, hint. Right. <laughs> wink, wink.